Hi everybody, it's Darren, and today I'd like to talk about the Lionel Electronic Set. The Lionel Electronic Set was introduced in 1946, and it consisted of a 671R Pennsylvania turbine with tender and operating whistle, a Southern Pacific illuminated caboose, a Pennsylvania gondola, an operating or dump car, and a 4400 series Baby Ruth boxcar. Last but not least, the set included the ECU-1 transmitter. In the years 1946 and 1947, the set sold for a whopping $75 and was listed in the catalogs with the set number 4109WS. The set apparently did not sell well, to which Lionel replied by doubling down. In 1948 and 1949, they added some high dollar accessories and raised the price to $200. This version of the set had a different tender and it was sold under the set number 4110WS. Some of you may have noticed what I've shown you is not the electronic set. The reason for that is because I don't have one. The sets are somewhat rare. I've seen a few at shows and you will see them listed on a variety of the internet auction sites from time to time. What I do have, however, is the ECU-1 transmitter and a few of the receivers. I purchased the transmitter at a show years ago and I acquired the receivers from an eBay auction. At this point I'd like to say if you have a number 4109 electronic set or a number 4110 electronic set, do not use that set to do what I'm doing with the ultimate train set build. What set the electronic set apart from all other train sets was its ability to perform certain actions anywhere on the track. Until this point in time, operators would have to park their cars over a specialty piece of track. The interior rails or the electromagnet would be electrified and the car would perform whatever action it was designed to perform. Now these pieces of track would be placed throughout the layout in specific locations and it was only at these locations where the operating car could perform its magic. However, the way the electronic set works is as follows. The user presses a button on the ECU-1 transmitter. The transmitter generates and couples a high frequency signal onto the track. A receiver located underneath the car or inside the car would receive the high frequency signal from the track. And if the receiver was tuned to the same frequency that the transmitter sent, the receiver closes a relay that activates the function of the car. This represented a huge leap over what had been done in the past. Up until that point, the only action you could perform anywhere on the track, other than the actual locomotive motion, would be to have your steam engine whistle or your diesel horn go off. With the advent of the electronic set, you now had the ability to perform 10 different actions anywhere on your track. Absolutely revolutionary. I know some of you may be unimpressed. Nowadays, we have DCC, Digital Command Control. With DCC, you can perform far more than 10 actions on your layout. You can perform hundreds. Lionel's implementation of DCC is called TMCC, Train Master Command Control. At this point in time, I have no intentions of making a DCC or TMCC compatible Ultimate train set. That's not to say you shouldn't do it. However, that's not what we're doing here today. Now, I'm not going to test the transmitter and receiver in this video for two reasons. One, the video would be too long. And two, I have no idea if they work. I don't know if the transmitter works. I don't know if the receivers work. And I don't know if they work together. So with that, I'm going to sign off and keep pushing forward with the build.